Welcome back. One of the most anticipated first in the nation primary visits of the year is coming up as Florida Governor Ron DeSantis will be coming to New Hampshire next month for the NHGOP Amos Tuck dinner in Manchester. He's not a presidential candidate yet, but many Republicans want Governor DeSantis to run. One of them is former Deputy Secretary of Homeland Security Ken Cuccinelli, who has launched a super PAC to make the case for Mr. DeSantis. And Mr. Cuccinelli joins us on Close Up this morning. Thanks for being here. Good to be with you, Adam. So obviously there's a lot of energy and momentum yeah. ready to go as soon as or if Governor DeSantis decides to run. So what is the case uh, that you're going to be making to try and bring him into the race? Well, first of all, uh, we're in the blessed position to be able to say this isn't against any other candidate, that he just stands head and shoulders above the potential field. If you look at his performance in Florida, he's been one of the best executives in literally decades. You almost have to go back to Reagan to find somebody at the presidential or governor's level that's done this well and accomplished as much as he has with the small margins that he had. One of his accomplishments politically was in the 22 election. He really moved Florida out of a swing state status. His coattails were enormous. Um, he also helped win school board races to keep the work he was doing to protect children in schools going. And, um, you know, that kind of coattail effect is something people really realize we need for the GOP with a 51-49 Senate and a bare majority in the U.S. House. We want to expand the House majority and win the Senate. And Governor DeSantis, with all his accomplishments, including political, is really the best candidate to accomplish that. The electoral outcomes speak for themselves, but yep. obviously your former boss is in the race, former President is, Trump. Yes. Why isn't he the best choice to take on potentially President Biden again? Right. So, uh, again, not against my former boss. I was very proud to work for him in the Department of Homeland Security. We accomplished a lot. I think we could have accomplished uh, more. Um, and if you look at how Governor DeSantis has approached the job of being an executive, much more methodical. All the personnel are kind of in line with his vision, and that makes everything run more smoothly, and you accomplish more for the people you represent. Um, and Governor DeSantis can serve all eight years, run for re-election and win, and the president can't do that. He only has four more years at most. So, you know, if we, if we really want things to take hold long term, as we're seeing under the Biden administration undoing a lot of what we did in the Trump administration, you really need that eight years, and Governor DeSantis can give us that. Your super PAC is called the Never Back Down. Down pack, and yes. obviously Governor DeSantis has built a brand as a fighter. What happens if he has to get in a fight with President Trump? Because we saw in 2015 and 16, uh, Mr. Trump is undefeated. Uh, he is uh, in, the, in the primary, that's for sure. And uh, I think 2024 is a very different year than 2016. You know, 17 candidates got in then. We'll have multiples in this year, I'm sure. Uh, assuming the governor gets in, as I hope he will, uh, it'll be a competition. I don't view that as opposition. The opposition is Joe Biden, who has done so much really to undermine American economic opportunity and freedom itself, and he continues to do it. It's amazing to think we're only halfway through that. And Governor DeSantis really, when you look to the future, which is what every election is about, he's really has the most opportunity, most upside for America, and particularly given his accomplishments and how he does his job. It's the kind of person you want as president, someone who will take on the media and not call them names, but tell them why they're wrong. You know, you look at his press conferences, he moves the needle in the direction we need, even when fighting with, you know, ideological opponents. All right. Well, we'll see how things go and unfold in the weeks to come. Mr. Cuccinelli, thanks for joining us here. on. Thanks for having me.